welcome to the Instant Atlas Dashboard Builder video. Dashboard Builder is a web application that can be added to your ArcGIS online account. Dashboard Builder allows you to create highly interactive web presentations using a range of data. In Dashboard Builder, you can organize your data into multi-level hierarchies, which can be utilized and displayed through the many components available. Dashboard Builder allows you to choose from a range of layouts with a variety of components offering you the flexibility to tailor dashboard specifically for your data. Here we have some example layouts. The time series layout from the standard options which are generally applicable to all data. The performance profile layout from the area profiles options which enable at a glance analysis across a range of indicators for a selected area. And the scatter plot layout from the most specialized options which use multiple maps with scatter plots and bubble plots that allow side-by-side -side comparison of multiple indicators. The end result could look something like this. This is a time series layout which allows users to quickly and easily compare data from different years. For example, if I select Wyoming and press play on the time animation bar, I can see the changes from 2007 to 2010. There are a number of ways in which I can explore the data, from the data explorer and the map to the widgets I've chosen. To make the most of the space available, I've used buttons to toggle plots and charts. In this case, I'm using the plots and charts to display the associate smoking data for 2010, which enables me to explore the relationship between general health and smoking. Associates are a useful feature of Instant Atlas. We'll cover them later in the video. To create your dashboard, start from a web map on your ArcGIS online account. This should contain the feature layer for the data you wish to display as a dashboard. I'm starting with a web map of US states which has data from a large health survey collected over a number of years. In the table, I can view the attributes and the field aliases that Dashboard Builder will use. It's possible to include other layers which could be, for example, state capitals. This would become a contextual layer only. When you purchase Instant Atlas Dashboard Builder, we add it to your available apps. To access this and start building your dashboard, select Share on the web map, choose who you want to view this map, select Make a web application, find Instant Atlas Dashboard Builder, click Publish, and once you have a map title and tags, click Save and Publish and View Item, which will take you to this page and finally, press Configure App. Dashboard Builder automatically opens in the standard starter layout with the default widgets for this layout. Dashboard is organized into three areas, the components area, the menu bar, and the properties panel. In the properties panel, it is possible to customize the various widgets and the styling of the dashboard. Before changes are made, select layout in the menu bar. This will open a window that allows you to preview and select from a range of layouts options. For the data in this example, I am going to select time series as I think this layout is the most suitable for my data. My dashboard design has now changed. Dashboard Builder opens with the edit mode selected. I'm going to delete a few widgets first as these aren't necessarily useful for the data I have and I can use the space to expand important components or add others. Deselecting edit mode puts you in user mode. Here I can explore how the data is arranged coming directly from the web map. Here we can see some data is grouped. This was achieved in the web map by adding vertical bars to attribute field aliases. Let's have a look at the data available in this dashboard. To organize and edit the available data, go to the data manager. By default, all the attributes in my feature layer will be available. You can see the dashboard builder has picked up the dates for each indicator. This was because we formatted the indicator name using a vertical bar in the web map. Data can be arranged into themes, indicators and associates, as we see here. Arranging the data in a hierarchy enables you to make the most of Dashboard Builder features 
as will be explained. To begin organising the data, clear the data model. Firstly, I'm going to drag state name to the field ID so Dashboard Builder knows the names of the states as they are divided in the web map. For this dashboard, I only want a subset of data. I'm going to create a theme for population, then select the population data by holding the shift key to select multiple sets and drop them in the folder. These are now indicators for the population theme. I'm going to create a second theme and call this one General Health. Using the shift key again, I will add excellent health to poor health for the years 2007 to 2010 as indicators for this theme. If I hadn't already done so in the web map, I could also click on an indicator to add a date or rename it. I mentioned associates before. Associates are often used as supporting data rather than data that is mapped. Some charts require associates in order to work correctly. In this case I know that for 2010 I have more specific health data. I want to investigate in what way smoking is related to general health, so I'm going to add these as associates for all the 2010 indicators. I'm going to move the themes to how I want them to appear in the data manager using these arrow icons. If I wanted to, I could add CSV data via the add data button, for example to include smoking data for each year to be used as associates. For now this is all I want, so I'm going to leave everything else in the data source. Then I go to save changes to exit back to the dashboard. If I look back at the Data Explorer, I can see the data arranged into the themes and indicators I set in the Data Manager. The associates aren't visible here. This keeps the Data Explorer simple for the end user. Before I add additional widgets to display the associates, I'm going to arrange the components as I want them to appear in the end map. I can drag and resize widgets in edit mode. In the interest of time, I'm going to go to a layout I arranged earlier. I now want to add the charts I showed you in the final dashboard to display the associate data. Go to insert in the menu bar. This gives you a number of options to display your data using different widgets. I'm going to choose the area breakdown bar chart which breaks down themes into indicators or associates to display them. At the moment, it's broken down the theme into indicators, displaying all the general health indicators for the year 2010. To display the associates for 2010, go to the Properties panel and select Associates in the Data option. To maximise the space, I'm going to use the same area for two charts and toggle them. Firstly, I need to resize the area breakdown bar chart to fit over the time series chart. I want the end user to be able to switch between this breakdown chart for 2010 smoking data and the time series chart. To do this, I go to insert and add a button. I'm going to rename this button to 2010 bar chart. Toggle this to the time series chart using the options for the button. I'll select toggle area breakdown bar chart which switches the chart on or off when the 2010 smoking data button is pressed. I can then move the button to an available space. Now when I'm in user mode, I can switch between the two charts. 
I have the capability to use the associate data to see how smoking and general health are related in a statistical way. I want to know the relationship between the percentage of people who smoke every day and the indicators from excellent health to poor health. To do this, I can add a scatter plot. Again, go to insert and this time select scatter plot. To edit the axis to display the data you desire, use the options in the properties panel. In my case, the x axis is going to be the general health indicator so I select Indicator Value in the Properties panel. For the y-axis, I'm going to select Percentage Smoke Every Day. I can then rename the x and the y-axis. I'm going to resize the scatter plot over the chart and add a button to toggle to in the same way I did with the time series and breakdown chart. I'm also going to add a legend button in the same way as I did for the other buttons. Now I have the dashboard displaying the data I want using a range of components. I can now customise the styling. In the properties panel, select the styling tab. You can customise each element separately, but I'm going to use the change colour scheme option and use the preset green styling. Once this has been applied, I can make further changes. For example, I can change the widget border colour and width and round off the corners. The final thing I'm going to do is add a title. I'm going to use the existing script to centre the title. Then change the font size, type and colour. There are many other things I could do, for example add comparison data so I can compare states against the national average, but I'm happy with it for now so I'm going to click save and done. This takes you back to ArcGIS Online. If I go to open, view application, I can see the dashboard as the end user would. This video has been an introduction to Dashboard Builder to give you an insight into some of the tools available to create user-friendly, highly interactive dashboards. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to send us an email at support at instantatlas.com.